Okay, so I explained you pretty much everything about optimizing DDI, right? Optimizing, optimizing imaging process. And usually after you optimize everything, uh, then you go into a deep spa recovery environment, okay, via the network, right, connection. For those of you who, who have networked on, I, I know that most of you have them. Uh, and uh, as, as, as you know, so what we have, we have DJI standing here, Ethernet cable that go into my laptop, okay, that I showed you. So it could, it could be connected to network hub, but it, they also have just direct connection. Like in my case, there is no uh, network. I'm just using an Ethernet cable, just a regular Ethernet cable to connect my uh, DDI system to Windows system. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, so now we are optimized imaging process, right? And moving to deep spa recovery environment. Uh, so just generally speaking, what deep spa recovery environment does, uh, it gives you ability to image by files, rather imaging by the entire drive. So if you're using DDI directly with, without DRE, then you are imaging uh, device to device, if you like, or sector by sector, okay? If you're imaging by using deep spa recovery environment, you are imaging by files. So you have ability to select what files your client is looking for and image only those files. In other words, image only sectors that belongs to those files. Okay, this is, uh, this is uh, uh, in, in many cases, it gives you uh, incredible sp speed up, right, of the recovery process, because then, uh, especially with those cases when your client is looking only for specific folder, right, or only specific files, and, and they don't care about, you know, rest. <clears throat> but uh, the, the other thing to know about this is that it only works uh, when, um, uh, file system is integral, when metadata on the file system is integral, when boot sector is okay, when MBR is okay, when MFT or catalog, is, if it's HFS plus, is okay, and we actually see folders and files. If something is corrupted like MBR and boot sector, you will still need to do the entire image and then use that recovery software to search for lost files, lost folders and, and stuff. Okay, so, so this will only work if, uh, if uh, a bad sectors don't affect metadata of the file system. I will use another drive because this one, is, uh, this one doesn't have uh, any file system on it. Okay, I just connected uh, another drive, <clears throat> and I run DRE. So if everything's set up correctly, then in DRE, uh, you should see, I just created a new project there. Unfortunately, I cannot show you how I did it, because uh, uh, it's, it's not connected directly to DDI, but you should be able to see your DDI by serial number and, by, and also by the name of the project that you created on DDI. Okay, to connect to it. So if you have many DDI systems, or more than one DDI in your network, then you should see all the projects that are available at the moment. So it's, it's very convenient. Uh, you can just connect to any DDI that you want and, and uh, <clears throat> check what is going on. So I'm connected to it. And after DRE is connected, it should show you the hard drive, okay? And usually, it will show you also partitions on that drive, under that drive. 
For this drive, as you can see, there is no partition because something is corrupted, but I, I took it specifically for you to uh, understand that even in cases when in DRE you don't see partition, what you can do, you can select search partitions, okay? Search partitions, and okay, so in this case, I actually found that partition, see? So that's the first thing to, to remember, but by default, when you connect it, you will see all the partitions right away, okay? <clears throat> so after you get the partition, the next step would be to right click on it and do file system scan. So what file system scan is, it's reading metadata, okay? If this, uh, this, is, this is NTFS system, so it's reading MFT table. And I actually read it, so that, that drive has uh, very few files, but they are large, and it's a good example to show you. So as you can see, it, it was imaging MFT scanning, uh, post-processing, that's it. So it, it read all the MFT, and now you see all the files that are located uh, at this partition. Okay, it's, it's a small partition again, but it has, uh, it's had bad sectors also. So we see files, the next step would be right click and search files, particular files that your client is looking for. So I right click <clears throat> and search and you can provide any, uh, any extension uh, or, or by date, by size. So let's say I'm looking for uh, particular files and it will find and select and pre-select all the files of particular ex extension. You can, uh, you can use comma or semicolon to separate all the extension types that you're looking for or, or particular sizes. So after we selected what we need, right, the next step would be right click and simply start imaging those files. So I just select image files and there are two options to image. Either image all files at once or image file by file. Uh, what, what the difference is? If I select image all files at once, DDI will select all fragments of all files that I selected to this group and then image those fragments one by one, okay? If we select image file by file, DDI will image one file first, then go to another, and another and so forth. What the difference? The difference is stress. All at it's exactly all at, all files at once are, is is less stressful because it's going from LBA zero to maximum LBA. It's just going okay. This one fragment, this another fragment, this another fragment, and so forth. If this is if this is files, then then the, the hash will be jumping back and forth, right? All the time, one fragment is here, another fragment is there, there, so it is, it is very stressful for the drive. However, if you are only imaging, like is my case, this is just three files, then I would select image file by file because there are no fragments anyway, right? So there will be like a few extra jumps and that's it. So if, if you're only targeting a few files, then you will be selecting file by file. But if you're, if you're imaging many files, then you will definitely uh, be selecting uh, uh, imaging file by files. And pressing OK, and, and this is it. So, so it's just imaging now, imaging all sectors that belongs to those three files. Okay? They're quite large, so it, it may take a long, and, a long time. And, and the drive also has some bad sectors, as we can see in you know, yellow stuff. <clears throat> At any time, you can press DDI terminal here and get to DDI, okay, during this process. The only thing that when you are using DRE, you should not uh, use any control buttons DDI because uh, it will interrupt whatever DRE is doing, right? Because there should be priority. Who is controlling now? Is it DRE controlling DDI or it's you controlling DDI? So you, you can see, see, this is going a second pass. <clears throat> So it's going fast primary pass and then second pass for every uh, fragment that we selected, right? So if we selected uh, uh, three files or whatever, whatever number of fragments, it's going one fragment, all the passes for this fragment, then go, taking another fragment and going all three passes 
or whatever number of passes for that fragment and so forth until all sectors uh, uh, all uh, all sectors that belongs to these files <coughs> uh, are imaged now if the file uh, if uh, the files are large and uh, or the file has many bad sectors and you see that it's currently imaging for instance these files okay you can always see what it is currently imaging and let's say you have you see lots of bad sectors there is literally no reason to wait for, for this file to finish because it will be corrupted anyway, right? If it would be many bad sectors. In this case, you can press skip button and it will skip imaging that file and get to another. And this is very uh, useful option because uh, sometimes when imaging many files, uh, you are just controlling and seeing, okay, this file looks okay. These files get into yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red. And you see that is, if it's large, you, you may want to skip it. Okay, so this, is, this also gives you more uh, kind of control of the imaging processes <coughs> based on, uh, on controlling imaging of particular file. Uh, well, uh, yeah. Well, no. I, I just skipped it because I know that if the if if the file has many bad sectors, it will definitely be corrupted. There is no reason you can you can image it. Yeah, skip. Just just forget. Yeah. But if that one of the critical files, you may get back to it later and try using different read commands, different reset commands, different whatever, uh, trying to dig into that particular file. Okay.